Hey guys, I'm Walt, K4OGO, or for the next six weeks, SP stroke K4OGO. I'm working in Poland, and for six weeks I'll be over here uh, putting up some antennas and playing a little radio. I, I come over here uh, for short stints at a time uh, for work, and I like to enjoy some radio while I'm here. And I also like to uh, experiment with different antennas. Uh, at home, my home QTH, I, I don't have this uh, luxury. I am up on the third floor of an HOA type building. Uh, fortunately, I can't have verticals and that type of thing. But when I'm here, I like to put up uh, long wire horizontal antennas. And I got an entire backyard back here to, uh, to experiment with here in the north of Poland. So um, this time, and what I usually do is I, I'll bring uh, some pretty cool antennas that I, I search out and find. I like to support the, uh, the antenna building community of amateurs. And um, there's one guy, he builds some just amazing antennas. Tim, N9SAB. I, I've got quite a few of his antennas because they're so good. And I'm going to start off with uh, this trip here, this first week, with his um, ultralight rugged 40 to 6 meter multi-band dipole. What is that? Well, it's an off-center fed dipole for 40 meters. And it's really cool. The thing I love about this thing, and I know some of you are going to say, why don't you just get a 4 to 1 and build one yourself? I don't think I could build one this good and this small and this lightweight and this durable. This thing's pretty amazing. It's small. Comes, uh, Tim sends all of his antennas and really neat little, a uh, lot of them are camouflaged. Uh, some of the smaller stuff, nice, nice little packaging, you know, that, that you can take with you. This is an excellent antenna for, say, uh, Poda or Soda or just plain portable operation. So it's pretty cool. I'm uh, what I like to call urban portable. You know, I'm going to basically be operating portable out of, off a second floor room. You know, it's the bedroom here in the house that I've rented and I, out into the backyard. So um, this is what I call urban portable. Very minimalistic. I just have my uh, uh, Zygu, 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 whatever you want to call it. I call it the Zygu G90. I love this radio. So 20 watts in this antenna. Um, I'll put a link to Tim, um, to his uh, channel, uh, not really his channel, to his uh, site on both Etsy and YouTube if you're interested. I, I can't stress enough how great the antennas he builds are. And I've got quite a few with me this time, so you're going to hear his name uh, spoken quite a bit on this trip. But here I'm going to put this um, ultralight portable uh, off-center fed dipole basically up and, uh, and, and show you how it works here on my, uh, my first week here in Poland. Stick around. Look, here's the antenna. That's a 50 pound test monofilament line. As you can see, what I did was uh, at the ends, kind of wrapped it around one time. And then the antenna itself follows the line all the way up to the top of that second floor window there so little uh little sag in it there it's like almost horizontal up to here i would say we're uh maybe four meters above the ground here at the feed point i did put some uh, electrical tape around the coax. It's a 50 foot of coax that's running up to a second floor window out of a different room. But uh, it goes up, if you can see it, up to the top. Maybe kind of tough to see. But I've got it coming right out of the top of that window there. There you go, you can kind of see that. But that's it. Um, like I said, the uh, Fishing line works well. It's, I put this thing up, this is day two. Yesterday when I put this thing up, it was raining and the rain turned into a pretty uh, miserable storm. And um, yeah, it was like, I was looking on the weather and they said it was about uh, 30 to 35 mile an hour winds that blew through here last night. And she held on perfectly. So there you go, there's my off-center fed dipole, multi-band dipole is uh, N9SB, Tim calls it. Uh, that, that's it, and that's our situation. And uh, that's what's getting, it, getting me on the air to start this journey here in Poland off 
to a good start. And here's the radio setup, a pretty simple and humble, I should say. Uh, the Zygu G90, I actually just got it sitting on a little uh, cardboard box to get it up to the edge there where the coax is coming in the uh, second floor window here to the little desk I have. Um, this is what I'm powering everything with. I've heard a lot of negative things about this. I've had a really uh, positive experience with this little uh, AC adapter. It's, the, uh, it's called the Schnitt Power. I've got the, uh, the, the uh, 3 through 24 volt version, the 5 amp version. I usually set it about 14 volts, 14.1 or so, and uh, power the uh, G90 with it. I've had no issues with this thing. And it's so small, I just roll it up and uh, throw it in a suitcase. I've actually got a couple with me now. I just have one as a backup or maybe power some other equipment. Um, this is an adapter. I bought this, um, I bought a couple of them actually in the uh, Munich airport, they were not cheap, 30 euros or so, but uh, I love it because I can use my uh, US to uh, Euro adapter here, but it also has, uh, as you can see, USB, so I can um, use these also to charge my, um, my uh, iPad or our phone or that type of thing with it, so um, it's called SK Ross. Don't know much about them, just bought a couple of them, tried them, and. Um, I'm pleased. Works well. So um, that's what I'll be playing with for about six weeks now. That is my uh, this little corner of a room up on the second floor. This is my shack. You know, I get a lot of comments that say, hey, why don't you uh, show, you, you need to get like a nano VNA or uh, or, or something and analyze the antennas that you uh, that you show here on your YouTube channel. All right, you know, Tim has this thing uh, plotted out and... Um, and has that on the um, his site when he sells these. So you know, I, what I did was just did a quick run through it with the uh, G90s analyzation tools, and it, and it was pretty spot on. It really was. Every uh, band from um, from 40 to 10, I could not check out six meters as I I, I have this G90 which is, stops at 10 meters. But uh, yeah, it sh it checked out pretty well. One of the really cool things um, in, in this was uh, the first day I was up. You know, I have some great friends over here in Europe that are also YouTubers. And uh, one of them just happened to be uh, live streaming, and I ran across him, which was really cool. This was an exciting thing to make. My first contact here uh, in this trip to Europe, um, and, and this gives you a chance to let you see how well I was putting out with this antenna. CQ15, Golf 5, Tango, Mike Portable. Germany 5, Tango, Mike Portable. CQ15. Walt, great to hear you. Walt, fantastic. Five and seven. Alright, same here. Five and seven, Tim. You are the first contact I've made. I just went out in the rain and put up an off-center fed dipole. Cut it off. Saw you on the feed. You're number one here for me in Poland. Boom. Brilliant. Off-center feds doing the business. So how have you arrived safely? How was the journey? Ah, oh, you lucky man. I've only got about an hour of radio time left and I've got to do all the family stuff. You see, Walt, it has its advantages, over. Hey, yeah, I know that. It's, uh, being away from home is tough, but it gives me a lot of radio time and I love that. Uh, how's this 20 watt sounding? Is it doing okay? It's sounding very good, Walt. Uh, very nice indeed. Nice and punchy. And uh, no problems at all. So you've got the you've got the dipole up in the back garden, have you, over? Well, I tell you what, mate, I didn't realise you were only because you're on 20 watts, aren't you? For 20 watts, you're sounding very, very strong. I mean, I spoke to a guy in uh, Sierra Papa just now, actually, and he was strong. Uh, he was about 5'9", 5 5'8", 5 5 9. You're about 5'7". So uh, it's doing the job. The old uh, G90 is uh, putting out the good uh, good signal with the 20 watts, over. Uh, Kilo Cell, that's great. 
great news, great news. I'll tell you what, I'm so excited. It's, it's Walt. It's Walt. Someone I knew and a friend, and it's so good to catch a friend right here, the first two so of this trip to Poland. I really do appreciate it, Jim. Thanks for taking the call. Well, you made my day as well, and... Um, yeah, you're doing fantastic. And I think you're making the trip over to the States as well. Uh, Whiskey X-Ray 4, Charlie Bravo. Can hear you five and five. In fact, let Tim's a great YouTuber. I'll put a link uh, to his uh, channel down below. But uh, I've learned so much from him. He really is one of my favorites. And, uh, and just a great, very uh, informative, knowledgeable ham uh, there. So uh, if, you get a, if you don't subscribe, many of you probably already do, go check out Tim uh, G5TM's channel for sure you know another one the next morning I, I got up the next morning and once again another friend of mine happened to be streaming so uh once again i got to see myself and get to hear myself on a different band golf five sierra tango uniform portable cq cq golf five sierra tango uniform portable listening There he is. Well, I'm just getting you in the log, my man. Uh, kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar, Roger. Hey, good morning, Stu. Yeah, you're um, a lot of noise on this, and I got QRM all around me here. That's kind of a jungle this morning there, but you're about a five-five here. Got you about a five-five. Yeah, Roger. Well, sugar popper slash kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar Golf five, Sierra Tango uniform. You're five-eight with me. Five-eight, Walt. Uh, absolutely crystal clear. Big thanks to Stuart. I chased him around quite a few. I, I, we went through, uh, I think it was uh, 2015 and 12, and, and got to hear myself and, and, and see that I was making pretty good contact uh, with, the, uh, with the antenna there as well. That was a lot of fun. You know, I, I usually show you a lot of videos from my end of my radio and, and how it's putting out and that type of thing. I, I won't do that. I, I can show you uh, QSOs all day long. I will show you one, though. I did have one amazing DX contact. This will be short and sweet, and uh, it's a little rough. I mean, it was a pretty big DX contact for me. And the first time from here, I have now worked all continents here from Poland. This was the one I was missing, South America. Yes, a sugar papa slash kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar. I'm an American in Poland. Well, there you go. A great little antenna. Man, I will use this thing a lot over the next upcoming years because uh, I love this thing. I'll put it back in the package and, uh, and carry it with me uh, back home to the States and who knows where else I may end up. I will use this antenna again. Loved it. It's a great antenna, especially for the configuration I had it in. It was a sloping type uh, configuration. Um, Tim N9SAB uh, on, on the uh, site for the antenna shows that you can put this thing as a sloper, uh, you know, a, a flat topper, uh, inverted V. There's a lot of ways you can use this antenna. And I pretty much had a, somewhat of a sloper and uh, it worked well. I mean, it was probably uh, not in its most efficient position because, yeah, towards the end there, it was getting pretty close to the ground. But it worked well and I really enjoyed it. I highly recommend you to go check out his antennas. I know a lot of people like to build their own. I do too. It's really cool. But if you want something really small, compact that you can throw in a suitcase and travel with, Tim's antennas are great. They really are. And he tests all his antennas out himself uh, before he sends them to you. So they're pretty cool. Anyway, well, I've got a few more weeks here. Actually, about six weeks left here. I've got quite a few antennas that I plan on experimenting with. I'm going to leave this one up this week. Um, maybe try to do a live stream and, um, and work across Europe and maybe some great DX with this in the evenings uh, or, or basically as the gray line's running across as I get home. Um, if you uh, enjoyed this and you're not a subscriber, please like and subscribe as uh, going to have quite, of a, quite of an adventure here for the next few weeks here in Poland. Anyway, I'm Walt, an American ham in Europe right now. Uh, SP Stroke K4OGO. Thanks for watching and until next time, see you soon. 73, my friends.